Hi everyone, so second video review this week was for The Grim Assistant by Jodie Hutchins. Um, I have just posted my Goodreads review so if you want to go and check that out, if you're on Facebook or on my blog there is a link in the post and if you're on YouTube there's a link in the description below. And this is a video review, so The Grim Assistant by Jodie Hutchins. Oh my god, I was absolutely fascinated by this book. So when I got it, the title suggests something quite grim, right? And I thought, oh I don't know, this could be quite dark. But you know what? For all its darkness, it was absolutely fascinating, like completely fascinating. Um, so it's about Samantha and she kind of finds herself offered with helping a Grim Reaper, uh, which um, is kind of after she accidentally finds herself dead after an incident when she's been out surfing early one morning. Um, so it's an offer she couldn't really refuse. Um, if she refused it, she was going to die. I mean... That would have been an awful way to start the book, like dead main character. No, can't do that. Um, so um, it doesn't really turn out as simple as this offer originally sounded, and uh, it isn't without consequences for Sam. But I got so much more than I expected from this book. I really did. Um, like I say, I am absolutely fascinated with it and the story. Um, when I got it and I read that title, like I say, I really, I really expected quite a dark book, but I actually got something that was completely enjoyable uh, because it was different and not what I thought. And this is just proof of why. If you if you look at a book or you read a title or you just pick up a book and look at a blurb and think, no, nah, I'm not going to enjoy that then you could be missing out on the biggest thing like ever like this is a fantastic book and you might look at it and say no 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 no, it's just the grim assistant it's about death it's not for me and you would you would seriously be missing out on a book like it is not about death well it is it's grim assistant but you know what i mean and you would be missing out totally so like this was like alluding to dark paranormal fantasy but it's such a light-hearted story and although it was hard hitting at times because there was one particular bit in a chapter where i really wanted to all my eyes out um literally some scenes one in particular like i say it just was pretty emotional and i had tears streaming down my face um but that really made the book for me because that brought in that element of you know right so this is something we don't talk about right our our sort of mortality it, like it's it could happen at any minute and it does happen around us and it's something we have to acknowledge death is around us and it it, it affects different people and so you know this book it, it challenged that in a way um and showed like like i say a bit of humor to what could happen if you almost died and or you died and a grim reaper made a deal with you so it really was fantasy it was really cool in that sense um and you got to see like the humility of sam still living but helping the dead like helping the person who collects souls of the dead i mean like she had a dry wit and a humor um as did the grim so margot she she's the grim reaper and she has got a warped sense of humor um but it it brought that slightly comical element to the story and it just lifted the whole dark premise of what you think you're getting um and made it really something like i say thoroughly enjoyable and different and fascinating so i just i ended up very very emotionally invested in this um and the characters and I was completely hooked on the story thrilled by the level of imagination and I mean what a unique and touching story um I like literally was truly entertained and yeah really felt this connection and to the way you know the death and the dead were perceived by Sam the way she she handled what she had to do in this in this story was really something that like I say although it entertained me I emotionally connected with it and I felt like the, I felt like the authors put a lot of like Jodie Hutchins has really put in a lot of thought to, to handle it sensitively because again death is one of those subjects that if you don't handle it sensitively but you kind of got to have the humor a little bit as well with this type of story um and she did she did that balance perfectly and I'm absolutely fascinated by this and I think it's part of a series so I'm really looking forward to more that sounds fantastic like this is brilliant like i can't recommend it enough you've really got to go and check it out for yourself and it will be something that it might be your cup of tea it might not but i'm telling you now if you discard it because you think it is not going to be your cup of tea you are missing out and you're going to be so disappointed when everyone else is like raving about this amazing book and you've missed it um 
it really was great I can't, I, I can't fault it like I really really loved every minute and I'm hoping for so many more tales from Grimm it just looks amazing um Sam you know she she's not just helping the Grim Reaper she's um also uh dealing with her own emotions to do with the relationship um with Lauren who is a is sort of a client of hers she's a postal worker Sam and so she delivers stuff to Lauren and they're sort of friends um but Lauren's not available to her and so you know she still has this amazing connection as friends and their relationship really blossoms as friends and it takes you know Lauren a long while to realize how she feels about Sam so it's kind of a slow burn and it's just as well that Sam took the offer because she would have missed out on relationship with Lauren so again there's that you know element to it as well all that sort of relationship um bubbling away as well um where Sam she has to there that's where the consequences start to come in because technically you know she's uh, she's working for a grim reaper how does she tell that to Lauren doesn't make sense does it you wouldn't you can't explain that to Livy like so it was really quite clever and um I just I love the way Sam dealt with everything even her own death and um then learning that she could help this grim reaper to to live again um like literally she took it surprisingly well and it really made a fascinating book and um, this like i say i can't i can't tell you this was really just an interesting read with lots of emotion and a heartfelt storyline and i really loved it and i really really recommend it it's really great so i'll pop a link in the description so that you go and grab a copy of the book um and i hope you will because i'm telling you you won't be disappointed and you don't want to miss out you want to know what we're all raving about right um so if you've read the grim assistant by jodie hutchins please get in touch please let me know again like please because I really want to know who's read it and what you thought of it um I thought it was really clever so if you want to talk about it come and talk to me about it because oh my god I really want to talk to other people about this book it's amazing um and if you haven't read it yet and it's on your to read list or you're interested in reading it um again let us know because it's always great to hear what you're interested in reading and if you do grab a copy of it I really hope you enjoy it bye <laughs>